Hey love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended family, just thank you for, you know, you're just keeping me upbeat. Just keeping me where I, I'm just wanting to do videos every day. It's just that I find my strength through these videos. I find validations through the comments that I get, through the views that I get, through more subscribers that, you know, are joining our beautiful family. And I'm just so welcome and blessed just to have everybody here and just more and more people that are constantly, you know, just connecting with each other. And we're just sharing each other's opinions and views, which I'm so grateful for. With that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it's impacted your life towards a positive direction. And if you feel like the video just gave you good vibes or just gave you good understanding or just give you some good information that you would like to share with, you know, someone special, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites. And thank you so much for stopping by the channel and showing me so much love. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video today. And this, you know, this upbeat music I'm listening to today is called Tabula. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Hang drum yoga background music at 432 hertz. I will post that link in the description box below. I love music like this, especially if you know doing yoga and Pilates and stuff is very relaxing. But the video I'm doing today is Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka, seeing yourself with great growth. Yes, hey, Oka, seeing yourself with great growth. It's just now it's just like like I tell y'all every day it's just the comments that you know you're getting comfortable you're being your own voice I mean it takes a lot I mean it takes a lot just to get in front of this screen and do this even though I'm just talking to myself but I'm being open I'm keeping it real you know and I let y'all know you know I, I I love each and every you know person that I'm subscribed to this channel because everybody has their different way of doing things they have their different way of you know of views of how they like to entertain people how they want to get knowledge out there how they're pushing out positivity and that's a straight blessing just to see all these things is going on like that but it's just like for me it's a blessing to see that when I, I can see the fact is of how tremendous things have changed for me and it's like I'm getting more open about things it's like even though I'm, I have been open with y'all but it's like the more things I experience I want you to be able to go through this journey with me and it's just like you're experiencing this like you know in a third person type thing like we're riding this ride and I'm just you know giving you that virtual ride with me even though you can't be there at the moments so of that time but it's just explaining it to you it to you with you being an empath you can be able to you know picture it in your own mind and it's just like the things that you're probably going through and the things that I'm going through you know they they're meshing well together even though you have your different situation you can you can relate you can you can understand where I'm coming from and that is such a good feeling and then when I'm knowing that it can impact somebody's life in a positive direction because being an empath and knowing that you have been through something so traumatic is one thing. But being in a situation that's so traumatic on top of other things and being able to live through it and survive and know that you have not lost your dag on marbles, you have not harmed yourself, or even you, you might have harmed yourself in the past, but you are no longer harming yourself. You view life as something so precious that when you see people that are struggling to live, struggling to breathe, you know, trying to find cures for things that is, you know, very terminal to them, 
you look at life differently because it's just like we know we're here for a reason even though we might go through something that's so painful and we might not fully understand we might know where you know the the, the situation had to come from to be able to heighten us in a certain way get that strength get that confidence get that self-love that self-respect you know that voice to say you know what enough is enough you know what can i do to stop this i already know i can do to stop this but i will not stand here and allow this to happen to somebody else and it could be anything that you're going through just to know that you have personally experienced something like that and just say that you know what when you see somebody that that you can see your traits in somebody else and it's something that you know you experience something so painful you can relate to that person and with you being able to overcome something and you can see somebody it could be a family friend it could be a co-worker it could be somebody you might just so happen to witness something out on the street and sometimes that really isn't safe but with you being an empath most of the time we know when to engage in something and when to call out for the law or something like that but you know everything happens for a reason we're at that right exact moment for that reason whether it's to teach us or bless us it's for every reason that we're there you know and it's, it's just like I see everything and it's just like I might still go through my different battles but there's a lot of things I can be grateful for you know even though there's times that you know I feel weary you know my faith has been tested a lot you know going through something like this is like something I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy it's something that I wouldn't want anybody to try to understand or even try to fathom you know how can a person go through something like this how can somebody experience something like this that you know it's very unimaginable because it's like I really don't go into depth about it because it's like you know I really don't want to dwell on too much about it because it's just like I need to get over that I need to heal from that so there are certain things that I tell you for a reason because there's some people that can relate to something like that there's somebody that might be not looking at life the way they need to be just the for that smack of reality so it's just like when I can say things and there's times that I get emotional, I get upset, especially if it's something injustice that I might feel that's going on with somebody that I feel like, you know what, you don't deserve that. You know you deserve better than what you're getting. You know that you have that strength that you know you have inside, but you're just not diving deep enough to find it in yourself that other people can see inside of you. So it's just like I, I go through those different things every day. And just to say, okay, I'm learning from that. I'm growing from that. I'm experienced from, you know, I have experiences from that. From just things that I do on a daily, it teaches you so much. If you look deep enough, you will find that answer. So it's just like feeling that growth inside of me, knowing that it is like, it's spreading like a virus now. And I like things like that. You know, I love positive viruses knowing that I can be able to touch so many people at one period of time and that is just a God sent blessing to me and I mean there's I, I mean it's just like people that I know that I talk to they know I, I cry <laughs> you know there's you know people that know that you know I, I, I talk to on a personal level it does not take much for me to cry, especially if it's a sentimental thing that makes me feel like, oh my gosh, I was able to help somebody do that. It makes me feel like, you know, a little schoolgirl, like, oh my God, I was able to do that. And it makes me feel really good. And it's not because, you know, doing it because I want something in return or I feel like, oh, I'm urgent towards something. It's like, no, when I can see that my mistakes, my mishaps, my misfortune, my unhappiness, my sadness, my anger was enough to let people know like, dang, there's somebody out there like me. There's somebody that's going through, they might not be going through the exact same thing, but they know how I feel. There's finally somebody that can understand me. And then you feel that overwhelmed te tears of joy because you have been misunderstood for so long. You stuck out from the crowd. Even when you didn't want to, you actually did. You got attention when you didn't want to have that. You were just being a humble, nice person. But it made you stick out like a star. And that's okay. You were supposed to stick out like that. We weren't supposed, we weren't built to fit in. We weren't. 
So it's, it's just like, you know, feel that growth inside of you. Acknowledge it. Embrace it. It's a beautiful thing. It might be overwhelming, but that's a beautiful thing because you are healing. You are growing from things that you never thought was possible. And I might say that a lot, but hey, we all need to hear that sometimes because sometimes we are our own worst enemies. We can be very hateful and critical to ourselves because we don't give ourselves that credit that we that other other people get intimidated by other people get jealous and envious by because they see that that animal that hungry lion or that lioness or you know that king panther you know in inside of you that you probably don't see yourself so recognize that, love the skin that you're in, and, and, and give yourself that pat on the back because you have got that growth. You are getting that degree of growth, and accept it and be proud of it. So I hope you are able to get something out of this message. I hope you stay blessed. I didn't think I was going. I, I did three videos, y'all, earlier, and I was tired because I've been running the streets and you know taking care of stuff. So I, you know, end up a video. One of my videos came out early, so I was like, mm -hmm, that's just you universe working but that's all right though it gave me time to talk to y'all one more again so i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video i hope y'all stay blessed and highly prosperous sound as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can know that you are blessed loved and highly favored and know there's always somebody out there praying for your better days and like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video and give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites. And go ahead and drop me a line. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or even if it's about the positive content on my video. Or you're just telling me about your empathic gift. So I'm sending much love and light and prosperity and infinite abundance to you your way. And I'll see you on my next video. Peace. And be wild.